Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Dana. We are here doing Felicity Season 1, Episode 21, The Force. Um, last episode, we had Ben having huge problems with his gambling debts. Um, he owed a bunch of money to the bookie, and <clears throat> at first, he said he would help him by trying to get money back from other people who owed him money, but he felt uncomfortable doing that. So, make a long story short, eventually they get into, like, a fight about it at the bar, and, um, I, Ben pushed or hit, I can't remember, I think hit, um, the bookie. He fell down, and he said, where's your phone? I'm going to make a call. I assumed he was going to call the police, uh, for, like, an assault, you know, charge, but it turns out he called his frat boys and they jumped Ben in the middle of the street and then he went missing for like an entire day or something. Um, <clears throat> and he showed up at Felicity's dorm like a day and a half later or whenever and he's just like covered in like bruises and cuts and stuff. And she's like, have you spoken to Julie or Sean? And he's like, no, they don't want to hear from me because he was kind of being a douche to them because he's like high stressed right now and strung out because he's, you know, owes all this money and he doesn't know what to do. And um, he owes the school money because his father didn't pay his tuition and he's going to get like suspended for financial obligations and he's going to get kicked off the swim team. And like he's having a lot of money issues right now. So he's like, they don't want to see me because he hasn't been very nice to them about the situation. So she's like, no, I'm sure that they would. So he goes over there and they are all very nice to him. Julie, Lynn, and um, Sean, they stayed up like all night on like the floor, like waiting and hoping that he would call or come home or something. So it was a nice moment showing that everybody cares about Ben, even though he had been sort of an ass that episode. Um, at the end, he takes Felicity's advice, calls his mom, and it seems like he's going to tell his mom what's actually happening, which would be good, I think. Um, so that was the biggest storyline, I think, that happened last episode was the Ben stuff. The other um, couple little things that happened were Noel is getting like a summer internship in Berlin, so they have to talk about that and see what's going on because they still don't really know what they are. They're friends, but friends who kiss, but they don't want to be friends, so they need to figure that out. Um, Felicity um, somehow lost her assistant manager position um, to an employee who she was supposed to fire, which she did fire, but he was like, you can't fire me because he's terrible at his job, but Felicity had to run out and you know, because Ben was missing and she made this guy like be in charge and he did a good job. I guess the boss came back early and now he's got that job and Felicity doesn't. But he told the boss not to fire Felicity, so she's not getting fired. The other important thing that happened this episode was Elena and her professor potentially beginning some sort of a relationship. Nothing good can come of this. We all know this. Even if it isn't a huge imbalance of power and the fact that he, you know, grades her stuff, it's just a bad situation. He's got... Okay, so Elena's probably like 18 or 19, I'm guessing. And, I mean, at most, at the absolute most, she's 20. But I don't even think she is. And I think she's 18. But... And the professor has got to be, like, 40. So, like... It's just a bad situation all around. But it was her idea, too. She asked him out. He said no. Then he said, you know what I thought about it. I think it's a good idea. It's not. So now I guess they're going to go out. I don't know. Maybe we'll pick up on that in this episode. And this recap was way too long. There's no reason I should have a recap that's four minutes long. So, all right, let's just jump in and see what happens. So here we go. Felicity, season one, episode 21, The Force. Let's do it. Previously on Felicity. Well, I was thinking about your right, this guy. last night about dinner. Mm -hmm. I, I, really... I think it's a good idea. You do? It's not, Elena. No, Don't I'm listen different. to him. Say, I got that summer internship. In and she life. looked sad. Wow, that's that's great. I mean, and he thinks you got to stop taking his advice. He doesn't know what's going on. 
And nothing about Ben? There was no recap Smell about Ben. Fire burning. Dude. No ringing bells in the middle of the night. What does it look like? Yeah, I have no idea. Water carrying. Earth burying. I think witchcraft was very in, in the late 90s, too. Uh, what the hell? Pull out your own hair. Two o'clock in the morning, and I need to sleep. I have the smell of burning hair, don't you? Oh, my God, Megan. How is burning my hair going to help you with finals? Would we like to know? I don't know. I'd kill her. I would absolutely kill her. Better watch out. Put a spell on you. It's a clumsy spell. Great. I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> um oh my god. Like Okay, so if Megan is putting a clumsy spell on Felicity and I'm assuming lots of clumsy things she's going to be clumsy, but there'll be reasons for all of them. But, I don't know. Usually I have a lot to say after the, like, cold open, but, which I don't think it's called a cold open in drama, but it doesn't really matter. But nothing really happened except for the fact that I would kill Megan if that was my roommate. Which is part of why I didn't go to college. I'm, that's not true. I didn't go away to college because I didn't want a roommate. Alright, well this is starting strangely. I'm a pretty rational person. So I guess she's becoming clumsy. I've never really believed in magic. Mm. But the last few days... I desperately want magic to be real, even though it's not. You have to hear He called his mom and told her the truth. Right, how'd that turn out? I didn't tell her about the gambling, so all the money she sent me for my plan to get home, I have to use to pay off that scumbag Barry, so... Mm. so but it's talent night at the orphanage. Oh. Are you in the show? No. <laughs> I'm an usher. Oh, God, I hate this. Hi. Uh, Abby says we're shutting down Friday night for inventory. You two have to do it. <clears throat> there. Happy now? Wait a second, wait a second. Inventory on a Friday night? That sucks. No. Get, how are you going to get home? I, I'm not. Mm. Oh! Oh! Oh, um. Clumsy. But you know what I definitely do believe in? Fate. That things happen for a reason. Mm, I don't really believe in that either. I guess after I saw the card looking for someone to do a drive away to San Francisco, that's when things really started to happen. Yeah, really? The guy's moving with his family to San Francisco in a couple weeks, and all he needs is someone to drive his car down there, so... I mean, he's gonna pay me to do that. He's gonna pay me like 500 bucks. So, <laughs> he's got good luck right now, and Felicity has bad luck right now. Same here. I am too. I mean, it's kind of weird not seeing you guys for so long. Why is she being weird? Actually, I've had feelings for someone else lately. Oh no, is it really? Ben? Oh, oh it is Ben. But how do you feel about me? Oh no. No, no. <sighs> I, I like you. I <laughs> you know, you got a boyfriend. And, um, I have a girlfriend. So, so. so it's kind of perfect. Uh, Why? Oh! Stop that! I had no clue any of this was going on. All I knew was that once he had the car situation figured out, Ben did something that seemed incredibly sweet. Sorry, it's gonna be time. loud for a sec. He invited Julie to drive to Palo Alto with him. She was really happy. I would have never even been invited if it wasn't for Julie. At first I said no. So they're all going they together? She said it would be more fun. Which was nice of her to say. <clears throat> Sure. Anyway, that's when I decided to ask him no. Even though I was sure he'd say no. He's going to Berlin, I thought. Yes! What about your internship in Berlin? Well, it doesn't start until mid-June, so I got two weeks to kill. That's perfect! I know. Oh. It's just, you know, all the work we gotta do, finishing the pages and beta tests and getting the music to work. Yeah. yeah. We gotta do all that camping out in line for episode one. How long do you have to wait in line? I gotta be there for like 48 hours. Oh, you can come and go whenever. Great, thanks. Yeah. Mm. I actually think that sounds like fun. Oh! Standing in 
flying does not sound like fun, ever. All right, so... Stop, are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I don't want you putting any more spells on me. Not only am I not gonna stop, I gotta... That reminds me, I need a fingernail clipping. Why would... What is wrong with you? Do spells on yourself. Still doing the spell. Maybe I should have taken Megan more seriously. When I asked Elena to come on the trip, she said no. She's looking for a hospital job in the city. Besides, she lives 30 minutes away. We're going to the library right now. Why don't I meet you there? I have a question I need to ask. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is she gonna spy? Hi. Her hair looks nice. We never did set a date, did we? No, we didn't. Thursday night? Yeah. Good. Good. So, um... Bar at the Tribeca Hotel. Around eight? I'll see you then. We have to stop in Chicago because we're supposed to be really great for this club. Okay, I want to go to the Really great what? Where they, they filmed, uh, Close Encounters, yeah. They're kind. Kind. That's their kind. I want to do this. Me too. We've only made it as far as New York, well, New Jersey to Austin. That's as far as we've made it. Oh, Felicity! Alright, maybe... Alright. Ben's not really gonna cheat on Julie, right? I mean, after she kissed him yesterday or whenever that happened, he, like, smiled and laughed, and I thought he was going to, like, it was like a nervous laugh. But here we are. I just need one more hair. Put my pillow down. Why are you so anxious? You're afraid of my power, aren't you? Oh, kind of, yeah. Power. It's working. It is. You're clumsy, aren't you? Yeah. I'm not clumsy. I'm like... <gasps> oh my god. I'm busy anyway. I'm working on a new <laughs> spell. This time it's forgetfulness. Oh, that's excellent. I'm sure that'll work. I'm not saying this proves anything, but after Megan's forgetfulness spell, things got even weirder. Yes, Miss Porter. There are no mutations that there is random mating and no, um... Just flew right out of my head. God, uh, no, something else, um, don't... If you could let someone else answer a question for a change. Mm. Anyone? I wonder if that was because he wa he doesn't want it to look like they're chummy, or if this is something else. Elevator opens. High check. When I get the subway. Alright, so he wants to break up, too. It's fine. So friggin' loyal. Your boy will be swimming in a majority of very hot women. Maybe you should but talk you like being Nicole, right? to your girlfriend. Right on. You. Hi. Did you finish your paper? Mm -hmm. Not even close. Do you know anything about Nikki? I've had this discussion. I'm getting kidding. Um, you shouldn't be alone with her. Bad idea. Am I making you uncomfortable? Yes. No, no, I'm just You're making me uncomfortable. I know that kiss was sudden. Now, you know what, though? It happened, so let's just try to forget about it, okay? Because it was nothing. Alright? Every time I look at you, I just want to kiss you. But do you okay. want to make me uncomfortable? Is that what you're trying to do? Because it's working. Actually... you got to be more forceful, Ben. I know you said we should just try to forget about it because it didn't mean anything. But you need to be like, this is never going to happen again. Oh no, we are very because I love Julie. I don't want you to go speeding nuts across the country, my baby. No, 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 no. We will take as long as you want. I'll leave my baby for three weeks. We will take really good care of your your baby. And you'll get my calendar. I'll be right back. Check out the stereo. This is gonna be so much fun. Sorry They're gonna. Tickets, but... Um, I don't know. I think I was nervous or something. You know, I'm gonna go to Graceland. That's all I know. 
<laughs> We're not gonna go to Graceland. Everybody goes to Graceland. Yeah, he's feeling hey, bad. So I just need to uh, get a copy of your driver's licenses. Oh, okay, okay. Felicity forgot hers. I didn't bring mine, but I know the number. Oh, go ahead. It's C24. Huh? Uh, C24. Uh, uh, C24. Not that much. Yeah. Eight. She's having too many problems. What, what is it, what? Every time I click on the music icon, the screen just goes black. Give me ten minutes, okay? Just think, man, when you get back from Berlin, you're gonna be a whiz at this stuff. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't think I'm going. What? You have to go. Hey, just before I got here, I was on the phone to Berlin to try to figure out housing. Mm-hmm. Turns out I got the dates wrong. It starts two weeks earlier than I thought. Oh. Uh, well, that. just tell her you can't. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. You're telling me you're considering a road <laughs> trip with your girlfriend over the most prestigious internship in computer graphics? Yes. That's a stupid idea. Still, so you're thinking that if you don't go with her, she's going to hook up with some other dude? No. You know she won't. I think you should go. It's a no-brainer, man. Me too. I'm with curly head. Yeah. Felicity's going to understand. She might not be happy about it, but she's going to get it and understand. I mean, she... Well... You should do the, inter the internship. Can I come up? No. You can't. Um, yeah, Lynn's not here. I know. I need to talk to you for two minutes. You have to be more forceful with her. I saw Julie in the library and she said you were here. You talked to her. I just wanted to bring you some hot chocolate. You're not my girlfriend. You shouldn't be bringing me hot chocolate. Who puts hot chocolate in a paper bag? So, when is your econ final? Don't take your coat off. You're not staying. What are you, what are you doing here? I'm bringing you hot chocolate. And you did, so now leave. Okay, you know I think you should take this hot chocolate and you should go give it to Lynn. Yes, I agree. Lynn doesn't drink hot chocolate. I know you and Lynn don't want to date anymore, but him and Julie do. Look, I, I love Lynn. He's a great guy. I just... Lately, we just haven't been clicking. That's fine, uh, but you can't click with me. And everybody knows that the fastest way to get over a crush is to act on it. And what is it? Oh, come on! I think you know what it is. Okay. Dude, come on! Okay, see, now it's getting Ben. You gotta just leave. Just walk away and leave. I mean, part of this is your fault, Ben, because, I mean, it's not your fault. However, you should have left. As soon as she starts this whole thing, you should have just left. I know it's your house, but... Uh-oh. Who's in danger? Everyone, it seems like. What is that? Picture. This is the only one I had. Me, Noel, Ben, Julie, and Elena all together. It's not like they're dead. You can get another one. My God! I can't believe you. Excuse I mean, you me. can believe her, but... You're not wrong. This spell is gonna be so kick ass. Look, just don't tell me what it is. I won't have to tell you. You'll know. Oh no, is she trying to break them all up? It was something. Yeah, she's just been sending me these signals that she's interested in me. What kind of signals? Yeah, she kissed me. And then she got naked. <laughs> yeah, there was one signal, and then she came over last night. She took her clothes off, which was signal number two. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, but, but nothing happened. But you have to be more forceful with her. What did Julie say? She must have freaked. Well, I didn't tell her. I think you should tell mm -hmm. Julie. Because I that stuff, but Megan put a spell on me, and I think it might be that I can read people's minds. What? You think you're reading my mind? Yeah. 
Julie and I are fine. We're really fine. We're okay. It's just things are a little serious. You know, everything's shaking through. Things get a little heavy sometimes. Okay, but now it's vacation. You guys can just hang out, you know? Yeah. Drive across country. Have fun together. You two are, are perfect for each other. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Then what is the problem? You don't seem like you know. If you break up with Julie because you called it a striptease, I will kill you. <laughs> I really think he needs to tell Julie, though, because she needs to be in the loop on this. Because if she finds out later, it's going to be much worse. He's got to say, listen, Nicole has a thing for me. I keep telling her no. She's not taking no for an answer, and I don't know what to do. So help me with this situation. We figured it out. Great, so the animations work? Uh, no. Then how'd you okay, figure well, it out? Um, we figured out your thing. With Felicity. We already know friend. my thing. Well, my thing. Right, see, I don't need help with my thing. I need help with the... We realized that you deciding whether or not to go to Berlin, it's just like when Luke has to decide whether or not to go to Oberon. Remind him, please. Okay. Tells I don't... Must do what you feel is right. But what I feel is right feel. is to not fail my final. <laughs> mm, talk to your girlfriend. Or you could talk to him, that's yeah. fine too. You look a little tensely. I think You're first on. you should talk to your girlfriend, no, I'm, I'm, then you should talk to Lynn. Keep thinking about Nicole. Me and Nicole, you guys, go tap or something. We're going to the Bahamas for two weeks. What? What? That sounds great. Yeah. Why is that weighing on his mind, though? That seems strange. No. First talk to your girlfriend before you talk to Nicole. Can I talk to ben, you're driving me crazy. Listen, I really think you're beautiful. And sexy. But Lynn is a really good friend of mine, and I really like hanging out with him, and I'm having a tough time doing that right now. You see, I might still be... That if you don't stop coming on to me, I'm gonna have to go tell Lynn. Alright. That's... Okay. Okay? That's pretty forceful. Good sure. job, Ben. However, I'm now afraid that she's gonna feel, like, hurt, and she's gonna go tell Lynn that Ben was coming on to her, because... I've seen TV before. Or she might go to Ju- Okay, tell Julie. Tell Julie. Come on. Talk to her. I've been thinking about some things. Do you ever think we're too serious? Do you mean too serious like... Why? Not casual enough? Or too serious like we don't have enough fun? Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. What are you trying to say? We're like 18 years old. Sometimes it feels like we're older. Did I do something? No, you haven't done anything. It's, it's really, it's not about you. It's really not. You act all confused, but you really know exactly what you're thinking. Don't you ever feel that about this guy? If you mean that we had a hard year and have we been there for each other, then yeah, I guess things are too heavy. Wait, you don't want me to go on a trip? No, I think you should come. You think I should or you want me to? I, I want you to. But not as my girlfriend? Well, maybe taking a break is a good idea. Listen, I never said anything about breaking out. Yeah, I know. It's a little tricky, huh? Not using those exact words. I was so not ex this. expecting not this. I did not, under any circumstances, when this episode started, did I think that we were going to end with Julie and Ben breaking up. That is a hundred percent not where my brain was. Mm. I couldn't listen to him anymore. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, Ben is sort of right in what he was saying, I think. But he said that he thinks that we've gotten too serious. And he wants to take a break from me. That is not really what he said. You put those words into his mouth. But that's what he meant, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's probably just that he needs a break, you know, from everything. Like we all do. I mean, it's been a crazy year for all of us. It 
has been a really rough year for Julie. And Ben had to support her through that. I'm not saying that that's a... a I don't know. You guys are working out. So... Why does it have to be Julie who's in pain? Why can't someone else be in pain? What's wrong? Oh. I don't think this is gonna work. Us seeing each other outside of class. Hmm. Okay. That was quick. I guess I was overcompensating. Oh. What? Because he That's was like... That's probably the reason why I barked at you in class. Yeah. I didn't want anybody to notice. Mm-hmm. That I enjoy your company. I had one other relationship with a student, and that was a long time ago. Different circumstances. All right, please don't make this. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> I'm not gonna like I'm this. Rusty. A little intimidated. Don't try to make him likable. Like that. Obi Wan Kenobi tells Luke he should go to Alderaan, and then Obi Wan uh, says that Luke should do what he feels is right. No, but that guy just told me so. Um, if I go on the road trip, I can't do the Berlin internship. Since when? Since yesterday. I thought about not going, not doing it, the internship. So is that just gonna put just Ben and Felicity alone in the car? I went so far, but I realized I have to go. Of course you have to go. You're not gonna lose me. You know that. Which is why you're going. And this just friends thing isn't making it any easier. Complicating things. So, I, I guess... Kissing? Yeah. Um... Megan's so spell was to kiss. separate them all. Seems to be working. Alright, so this ends it up fine where I thought it should he should go to Berlin a hundred percent absolutely um, they're friends but friends who don't kiss anymore okay I have no problem with that but so they're just I don't really know what this relationship is though they're waiting for each other to date but they're not dating other people in the meantime? So I guess I'll talk to you later then. He's going to Berlin for the summer. I don't know what Julie is doing. Maybe Felicity will stay with Julie over the summer. I don't think she and Ben are going to end up back together. Come here. Oh. I'm trying to take your picture back together. I lost a few pieces, sorry. Oops. Don't have a hissy. The spell didn't work. It seemed like it worked. It's a love spell. Why are you putting a love spell on Felicity? Spells guaranteed. Someone that you like? No, someone I hate. It didn't work worth the crap. I'm sure you were right about the other spells. They were just stupid. I can't believe Megan feels bad. I was actually starting to think those spells were really working. Yeah? I was very clumsy and I forgot everything. Wouldn't it be amazing? You know, I'm just thinking about how Megan probably has to go home for the summer and revert to her... the image that her parents have of her. Sorry. Dude, you stole all of Felicity's shit. Let her sit on your bed while she's trying to comfort you. So are you mad at me? For what? I'm talking to Julie. I mean, no, I'm not not, not mad at you. She's you didn't tell her about Nicole. No, I didn't. Why? I mean, well, if I already told you, I don't like Nicole. It's not about Nicole. You just, I don't know, feeling overwhelmed. I, I think. 
I mean, it's a lot. I, just, I don't want you to be mad at me this whole trip. I'm not going. What? Mm. I just, I don't think it's such a good idea. Why? Why? We're gonna get home, right? I mean, what you... Would you just come with me? It'll be fun. Besides, I mean, what if I'm out there on my own and, you know, I put another ding in the baby? Oh my god. What is it? Clove. Oh god. Come on then. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, well, there's the love spell ingredient. No, no. No, 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 no. This is not happening. No. You guys are finally in a really good place as friends. Don't do this. Mm -mm. So you will. I don't think you should. Come with me. No, I, I think you should stay with Julie. Do you think I should? That's probably why he's asking you. Yeah. Don't like it. The whole walk home, all I could think about was how Ben and I were going to be driving across country together, mm -hmm. alone. Sitting in that car, right? And yeah. what about Noel and Julie? How are they going to react when they find out? Yeah, that's why I don't think you should do it. When, I got, when Megan taped it back together, she did it wrong. It used to be that I was standing next to Noel, but now... I don't know. You don't believe in magic, do you? Mm. I don't like any of this. Um, I like none of this whatsoever. Here's sort of <clears throat> one of the things that I'm really thinking about, though. <clears throat> I really think that from Ben's perspective right now um julie had a really 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 difficult year i mean a year that anybody would be would crush anybody let alone an 18 year old college student and ben was there for her every single step of the way he was supportive he was wonderful even before he was her boyfriend and they were dating and that is sort of a lot to put on an 18-year-old guy, honestly. And he was absolutely amazing throughout everything. And I can sort of understand from his point of view how this feels very heavy and very um, serious because they're going through things that most 18-year-olds don't have to deal with in a relationship. A lot of 18-year-old relationships are go to class, go to the bar, get drunk, go to a keg party, whatever. It's not sexual assault and it's not gambling problems and it's not dealing with your adopted parents lying to, uh, your birth parents lying to you and telling you they didn't give you up for adoption when really they did. It's a lot to put on people. And I definitely agree with Ben that this is, they're very serious, very young with these kinds of issues that are happening in their lives. However, that said, up until this episode... I didn't really feel like that was an issue for Ben whatsoever. Like, I don't feel like he ever felt overwhelmed. Maybe he did, and he was just, for Julie's sake, keeping it to himself, but I didn't see this coming. Um, Julie, on the other hand, and I'm wondering if originally when he was sort of snippy, I guess, with Julie... I thought it was because he felt guilty about what was going on with Nicole. And he should because he didn't tell Julie. If he had told her from the very beginning, I don't think he would have had anything to feel guilty about. He clearly wasn't a participant in any of this. And he did, even though maybe not as strongly as he should, he did tell her 
no, I don't want to do this. So he's not in the wrong in any way, as long as he tells Julie about it. He finally said to Nicole, stop doing this or I'm going to go talk to Lynn. And then he runs into Lynn and Lynn tells them they're going to the Bahamas. Like, I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if that's supposed to be um, Nicole. I don't know, because neither one of them really want to be with each other. So I don't know what's happening there. And I have to say, though, as time goes on, I like Lynn more and more. I didn't really care so much for him in when he first got introduced as a character, but I really like him now, and I'm going to be sad like if we don't see him at all going forward in future seasons. But, And I do want very much for Ben to keep his friendship with him, so I think the only way to do that really is to get Nicole out of the picture entirely, which I'm fine with. Um, but regardless, relationships are all gone. So we end up with Felicity and Noel, who are on perfectly good terms right now. However, they're not dating. They are friends. They're not kissing. And they're not going to... And Felicity said she wasn't going to... He wasn't going to lose her by going to Berlin. So that means, what, she's not going to date anybody while he's away, and he's not going to date anybody while he's away, but they're not dating... They're just, like, waiting for each other to date later. I'm not really sure how that's playing itself out. Um, but that is apparently what's going on. Ben and Julie have apparently broken up. Um, Elena and the professor are maybe going to date. I don't really know. Like, he said he had a... An, a um, a relationship with a student in the past, so he's acting like this is a normal thing. Doesn't feel normal to me. Like, I mean, I guess he's a professor, but I don't know. Seems bad. Bad, bad. No good, no good things happening there. And um, the other thing now is Ben and Julie, nope, sorry, Ben and Felicity are going to drive home for two weeks in that car together where now they're having little flirty tense tension moments, which should not be happening. They finally got to a place where they're like really good friends, and I don't want them to screw it up. And also, if they were to do that, um, Julie and Felicity, I cannot see how they would ever overcome that. Fuck, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. <laughs> really good, though. Um... I think that's probably it. I, yeah, I think that's probably it. So, uh, hopefully you had a good time. I certainly did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!